Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a few things that I've gotten recently and sort of like a mini review of um, some skincare that I've been trying out. Um, so first of all, I think I'll start off with um, some stuff I got from eBay. And I totally had to get this after I saw Pinky Charms review on um, these particular items. It's th they're from Bath and Body Works and of course we can't get Bath and Body Works here in the UK. Um, but if you look on eBay, <laughs> Um, there are some people in the UK that do sell them, so I recommend that you just kind of go on eBay, type in Bath and Body Works in the health and beauty section, and narrow it down by t um, ticking the box that says UK only, and then you'll find some on there. Um, anyway, she reviewed the um, Country Chic um, items, which I have. Um, the Country Chic favorite, Country Chic fragrance mist. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. And you can see that I really like it because I've used quite, well I've, used, I've had it for about a couple of weeks now but I mean I've, I've used uh, quite a lot of it. Um, also the body wash you can tell I've used it as well. Um, I really like this scent. It's so good. And the body lotion. Um, if you, <sighs> I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this. And I have Twilight Woods from Bath and Body Works. I just have the little eau de toilette thing. And they smell, I don't know, it's something about it. Smelling them individually, they don't smell anything alike. But once it's on your skin, um, I think they share like a couple of the same um, like notes or something. Because they do smell similar but not the same. I, I think it's just one of the notes that comes through quite strongly on both of these make it smell like they're the same. I don't know, it's, it's really odd. Anyway, um, this does remind me of this until you put it on. It's very odd. Anyway. <laughs> but if you like Twilight Woods, you'll like this anyway. Um, and the other set that she reviews, and I just got like a mini sort of travel um, case of these. So I got like the mini ones, which um, are carried away, and this one's quite nice as well. But I don't like it as much as Country Chic. Um, and it all came in this little bag. And um, we've got the body lotion, the body spray, and a little body wash. These kind of have um, it's kind of like a fruity, almost like a raspberry scent to it. I think that's one of the um, notes that's actually in here. One of the smells. Like I said, I, I like it, but I don't like it as much as the Country Chic. But it's so nice. It's nice if you like sort of really light, sweet um, scents. I'd say you probably like that. Um, also from eBay, um, this is a genuine one. You just have to check on eBay when you're buying makeup and stuff that you're buying from a trusted seller and that the item is genuine. Um, anyway, I got the Tartan Tail. Um, dashing lassie eyeshadows. I totally missed out on this when they came out. I don't know why. Because um, I did want it and then went to get it and it sold out or something. Um, anyway, um, this is what I'm sure you've all seen this before, but that's what it looks like. And to be honest, I had this for like a week and a half now and I've used it nearly every day. Um, it just has really wearable eyeshadows in it. Um, you know they're great for every day but you can also sort of like smoke them up and you know wear it out for an evening but um I kind of wear a lot of browns and like taupes and you know those sort of colors anyway because I feel more comfortable in them so if you're that sort of person I think um you quite like that although you know it's not available anymore but if you can sort of find it on one of the um makeup websites like Love Makeup or um, there's a couple of other ones. I'm not sure if they have any in but sometimes they get this sort of stuff in or even if you've got a cosmetic company outlet near you they might have some of these now. So I'd you know give it a try. Um, that's it for eBay. Um, I also picked up um, some Too Faced Shadow Insurance and it's really rubbish. <laughs> I'm sure it probably works for some people, but for me, it does not work. Um, I've given it a chance three times now, and each time, within sort of like a half an hour of 
my makeup being put on, this has started creasing. And by the end of the day, my makeup is just everywhere in my eye makeup. Um, so that was a miss, unfortunately. But I wanted to give it a try anyway. Right. Um, okay, so this is sort of like a little review of this next item as well. Um, it's kind of like a little kind of haul video. Because I got these probably like two and a half weeks ago. Um, and it's by Soap and Glory. And um, I've got the Fab Pore Hot Cloth Cleanser. Um, the Catch a Wrinkle in Time Day Moisturizer. And the Night and Shining Armor Cream, which is a night cream. Um, I also picked up today, which I haven't used yet, so I can't say if it's good or not. I picked up an eye cream because I was so impressed with this other stuff. Um, it's the Super Eyes Moisturizing Eye Gel. Um, so yeah, these items. Uh, I really like these. I was kind of um, dubious about it because I, I don't. I mean, I don't know. Um, I used to like Lizerol, and I always swore by Lizerol, but it's just so expensive to sort of keep up with that. Um, so I, you know, I thought I'd give these a go and kind of, because I needed sort of, I needed a, a routine overhaul basically because I wasn't really using, um, much of anything that was doing any good for my skin. Um, so these were on offer at Boots and they still are on offer because I went and checked today. The three for two on all the Soap and Glory stuff, so that's brilliant. Um, so you can stock up on stuff that you like. Um, first off, I'll start off with the Fab Pore Hot Cloth Cleanser. This stuff a little goes a long way, and it works really, really well. Um, it smells really good too. A kind of, um, almost like a menthol scent, a menthol, menthol scent. Um, but it's, I don't know, I'm just trying to see what is in it that would make it smell like that. Um... Uh, just as a blend of essential oils so yeah I mean there's probably you know it doesn't actually say what is in it it probably does on the box which I've actually thrown out so it doesn't help but the scent is really nice on this and it glides on your skin really smooth and like I said a little this goes a long way it removes every bit of my makeup now I don't use it to remove my eye makeup I use a separate eye makeup remover but even with using that I always find that there's a little bit left over um, and this kind of clears the rest of it away. But as for taking off makeup, it's brilliant. I don't have to wash my face twice or anything. It leaves it completely clean. Um, really comfortable feeling. Really smooth. It doesn't feel tight or dry or too oily. It just feels... It feels good. It feels nice. Um, so yeah, I recommend that. Especially if you're looking um, for something you know, like a Liz Earl cleaner, cleanser that, you know, it may, you might not be able to afford it, but, you know, these are quite reasonable, I, I think. Um, and like I said, they're on three for two right now at Boots, so, you know, it's worth a try, really. Um, next, I'll start off with the um, Catch a Wrinkle on Time Day Moisturizer. Um, now, it's supposed to be like a wrinkle repair youth booster type moisturizer. Now, I don't really think that moisturizers can actually make your wrinkles disappear. They could probably lessen um, the appearance of them temporarily. Um, I don't want to brag, but I don't have any wrinkles or anything yet. Um, mostly because I have a fat base and it pushes everything out. Um, but, you know, having said that, it's a nice moisturizer. It's not too greasy. Um, but, yeah, it's not... Um, it's, it's not too light that you're not going to feel anything, it's going to leave dry spots or anything. Cause I have I have combination skin, so when I tend to use a light moisturizer, sometimes it's too light. Um, and then I'm left with dry patches that really show through um, underneath my makeup. And if I try something that's a little heavier, maybe even for normal skin, sometimes that can be too oily and my makeup just slides off even with a primer. So, um this was really really good well still is really good because I'm still using it um, it smooths over your face really well it sinks in it doesn't leave your face greasy um, I had a lot of dry patches because like I said it's combinations so I have oily bits and dry bits and it's taken care of those really well um, my face is, is more even in, in skin tone which it doesn't say anything about that but I think it's just 
using something that's nice on my skin that has actually said thank you <laughs> I'm gonna be nice to you now and have a nice even skin tone but um yeah I really like that and then the night cream is really nice as well and it comes I like it because it comes in this jar um now even though I've been using this for a couple of weeks I've hardly made a dent in it um a little of this goes a long way as well as this um and again it's not too heavy not too greasy it hasn't made me break out um it leaves your skin feeling especially after you, if you use it after this in the evening your skin feels like velvet it's amazing um i absolutely love this stuff so i recommend that if you're looking for a new skincare regime all right moving on um as of late i've had this kath kidson kick for some reason I mean, I've always liked her stuff, but um, never had like picked it up or never really tried any of her stuff. But um, I got this handbag. It's the oil cloth, um, and I got this in a shop in town that sells Cass Kids in, and it's really nice. Um, it's got it's actually really pretty. Um, the interior as well has the same fabric as the outside. It's a really good bag. Um, her stuff is not that expensive, I don't think. Um, I mean, for the quality and everything, I think it's quite reasonable. Um, it's also got two huge side pockets, I mean, you can fit your whole hand in here. You know, so if you have a lot to carry, you know, you can really get a lot into here. Anyway, I'm a, you know, I'm a bit of a bagaholic, so, anyway. But yeah, I forgot the, um, oh. I can't remember the, the fabric um, and style name of this one, but it's on the website anyway, it's the Kath Kitchen website. Um, I also <laughs> was really naughty and got another bag. Um, I got one of the messenger bags, and this is the khaki spot one, and it's massive. And I love, love the um, shoulder strap on this, the different colours. And again, this is lined as well with fabric with cuffs and fabric, I don't know if you can see that um, yeah I absolutely love this bag um, I got it yesterday and because I, I wanted something that I could wear sort of when on my more casual days which is most of the time really um, I'm kind of like a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl and well you can wear this with jeans and a t-shirt and look absolutely fine um, there's some days when I'm out in town and I have things to carry. I'm trying to get a handbag, an umbrella, bags and everything is kind of a pain. So to have something you can kind of go hands free with is ideal. So that's why I got this one. Um, and I also got, I told you I went a little bit crazy with this stuff. I also got a little purse as well. This is the, um, the Navy Shooting Stars one I think. That's what it's called. And I'm just going to cover up my cards here. Um, so you have card slots on this side and a little coin bit on this side and then you know you put your notes in here which is empty at the moment um, and it zips all up so that's really cute as well um, so yeah that is it um, yeah like I said I went a bit crazy with eBay and Kath Kitson so um, so yeah that's it and um, if you have any questions about anything, about any, you know, the, um, the Soap and Glory or, um, you know, Cat Kitson or whatever, um, just let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye!